Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I want us to share a, a new feature of Honeybee that I just developed. Uh, maybe it's better to say it's still under development, which is exporting uh, double curvature surfaces to Energy Plus. Uh, ex well, well, no, that that's not right because it, it it was able to do it before. So exporting interior double curvature surfaces with openings to energy plus what i mean is you have two two floors here and you can see you have the perimeter zone core zone the it's just like for 30 degrees this one is rotated on the roof so all the surfaces are double curvatures Th this is something that uh, honeybee could do before but what is new is as you can see here when it finds the adjacencies it finds some interior windows and I'll show you in a second the interior windows. So here we go. So you get all these interior windows which are adjacent to, let's see if I get lucky, yes, which are adjacent to other interior windows from other zones if this is the core and that's the perimeter. Let's say it's, this is an atrium more than being, being a core and perimeter. Okay, it can't be an atrium. Anyways, like this is the relationship between the zones uh, that I want to show as the feature. So now having this, uh, I don't know, like before Honeybee at least couldn't do that. I don't know if there is any other software that can do this just to export this thing as it is to Energy Plus. I, I'm not sure if that's the that's right actually to export something like this to Energy Plus because Energy Plus hasn't been designed definitely for to take care of geometries like this, but I think it's good to have an option. So here we go. I just write the IDF and run it. And while this thing is trying to run it, I can show you what what happens to the geometry. Okay. So it will take a couple of uh, seconds, up to a minute, because of the number of surface for this to initialize. And as soon as it says warming up, warm warming up one, then it means it's fine. It's running fine. So here I have the geometry, which is the idea file, imported to Open Studio, and yes, everything is meshed. It should be because it's a double character surface. The, you can you can mesh it like definitely not as crazy as this, but uh, my experience was Energy Plus will start complaining because of the because the surfaces are not going to be planar. So this is the minimum mesh that I could get and and keep all the surfaces planar. And the interesting part is happening here when you have all these interior surfaces, they will be meshed differently in in Energy Plus in in Rhino, and Honeybee takes care of this. So if I just show you the boundary condition, this is a still initializing. Okay, warming up. Basically, I'm done. But let me show you this. Uh, So for every surface here, you see this. This is a fixed window. It, the construction is a still exterior window. It, I don't change it in in the code, but that's that's the easy fix. But you see the surface name used, and you see the surface name of the other zone. So this is zone four. It's next to zone seven surface glazing surface two inside surface three, and this is something which is not easy to take care of and it's, it's now it's solved which means you can you can basically use uh, honeybee for any kind of form finding again I don't suggest you to to export the geometry like this uh, straight to energy plus I would say simplify it before because it you don't want to wait for hours for like how many zones we have here eight zones okay that was it thanks for watching Bye.